When you travel to the nether, there is no sun, no moon, just endless seas of lava, basalt deltas, warp forests, you know, all the scary stuff. You never can tell what time of day it is, and as much as you'd like to take a rest, you just can't seem to sleep. Now, trying to sleep in the nether really serves no purpose other than trying to set your spawn point, which was not possible until now. Enter the respawn anchor. So, how do you get your hands on this brand new shiny technology? Well, the respawn anchor can be crafted with six crying obsidian blocks and three glowstone blocks, making this a relatively easy item to get fairly quickly, especially if you have a silk touch diamond pickaxe. Once you do have a respawn anchor in your possession, you're going to want to make sure to have an extra supply of glowstone blocks. The respawn anchor looks cool and all, but it is pretty much useless unless you've got glowstone blocks to charge it up. That's right, you'll need to charge the respawn anchor by placing a glowstone block inside of it one at a time, and it can hold up to four glowstone blocks. In other words, it will hold up to four charges or four uses. Once the respawn anchor is charged up, well, how does it work? You simply have to die. That's it. Well, kinda. There's more to it than that, but that's the basic use for this block. If you happen to be taken down by a piglin, you got obliterated by a ghast, or you just happen to hit a sudden stop, you'll be able to respawn right next to the anchor. No problem. The respawn anchor can also be great for people who plan to have a primary base located in the nether. So let's say you go exploring in the overworld or in the end and somehow you bite the dust. Well, rather than respawning at a bed, you can respawn at your nether base of operations. You can gear back up and get back out there to rescue your splattered items across the terrain. However, keep a close eye on the number of charges available because if the respawn anchor runs out of charges or is destroyed, you will respawn back at the overworld at the, the standard world spawn. That can be a little bit frustrating. Another thing to keep in mind as well is that if you think this is also going to be a great item to use in the overworld or in the end to set your spawn point, think again. That's right, if you try to use the respawn anchor anywhere but the nether, it will explode and could catch anything near it on fire. It just causes a big mess. The respawn anchor has a few functions besides just setting player spawns that can make for some really fun and interesting builds. The most basic function aside from the respawn mechanic is that it can serve as an alternate lighting source. Similar to the way that sea pickles work, the more glowstone charges that you have in the respawn anchor, the brighter the light source will be. It's a pretty great way to light your builds with a different aesthetic. The respawn anchor can also be used in redstone contraptions because it gives an output to comparators depending on their charge. So a single charge will give a signal strength of three. A charge of two will give a signal strength of seven. A charge of three gives a signal strength of 11. And finally, a charge of four gives a full signal strength of 15. A fun idea that you could use this feature for is something maybe like a respawn death counter. So if you die once or twice, it's not the end of the world, it's not a big deal. But if you happen to die four times and the respawn anchor runs out of juice, it could trigger a trap to destroy some of your most valuable items, making for a bit of a twist to the survival experience. There really are so many possibilities for the respawn anchor besides the core mechanic of setting a player spawn. So what are some of your ideas that you have for this new exciting block? How will you use it in your worlds? Let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe like this video and turn on those notifications for more content like this thanks so much for watching and have a fantastic day